Vanessa Hudgens and Nikki Hilton led the glamour on the Academy Awards red carpet this evening. Actress Vanessa, 33, smoldered in a slinky sequined black cutout dress as she posed for photos on the red carpet. Styling her hair into a knotted bun, she paired her outfit with smoky eye makeup, a chunky jeweled silver necklace and matching emerald earrings. Tonight, she will be co-hosting on the red carpet this evening alongside Terence J and fashion designer Brandon Maxwell for the biggest night in Hollywood's calendar. The actress gave a peek of her silver stilettos through a slit at the back of her dress. Joining her accessories was a gold Cartier bracelet on her wrist and offered another dimension to her outfit. In contrast, Nikki Hilton opted for a pale pink flowing gown as she showed off her baby bump. Her bejeweled outfit was adorned with feathers at the sleeves and wore her blonde hair in natural waves down her shoulders. Ahead of her appearance on the red carpet, she shared her outfit with fans and wrote, off to the hashtag Oscars. Can't wait to talk fashion with Atant red carpet on ABC. Also pretty in pink was Lily James, who looked gorgeous in a strappy lace dress that pooled at her feet. The Pam and Tommy actress, 32, showed off her toned legs in thigh-high splits and towering pink platforms. She paired her outfit with a matching pink eye and silver chain necklace. Hollywood legend Jamie Lee Curtis was one of the first stars to make it to the red carpet, sparkling in a beaded midnight blue dress. The 63-year-old smiled as she showed a blue ribbon on hand conveying her support for Ukrainian refugees. This year, the blue ribbon is being worn by celebs in support of Ukraine amid Russia's month-long invasion. The loop ribbon has the hashtag with refugees on the side. The ceremony will take place on Sunday 27th of March, commencing at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. For those wanting to tune in from the UK, the awards will begin at 1 a.m. on 28th of March. Like most years, it will be lasting around 3 to 4 hours. Best Actor nominee Benedict Cumberbatch also made an appearance on the red carpet on Sunday afternoon. The star, who is nominated for his role in Power of the Dog, looked suave as he arrived at the Dolby Theatre with his wife Sophie Hunter. Benedict opted for a simple black tux and dark shades for his big night, once again wearing a pin bearing the colors of the Ukrainian flag, like he did as the BAFTAs earlier this month. Nominees Jesse Plemons and Kirsten Dunst looked every inch the Hollywood power couple as they arrived for the star-studded ceremony together. The Bring It On actress, 39, looked a vision in a stunning rouge red strapless dress, while Breaking Bad star Jesse opted for an all-black ensemble for the awards show. Reality TV star Kourtney Kardashian was a surprise guest at the Swanky Awards Bash, the first member of her famous family to ever do so. The mum of three joined her fiancé, Travis Barker, on the red carpet at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles for the 94th Academy Awards on Sunday. Kourtney opted for a T-length, strapless black dress for her debut Oscars appearance with Blink-182 rocker Travis donning an all-black suit alongside her. Andrew Garfield, nominated for his lead role in Tick, Tick Boom, scrubbed up ahead of finding out if he will be taking home his first ever Oscar. The British actor, 38, wore a chic black tux as he arrived on the famous red carpet on Sunday night. Fellow nominee Nicole Kidman also turned heads in her choice of outfit for the evening. The Hollywood icon, who has previously collected one of the prestigious awards, wowed onlookers a strapless gown with a statement peplum waist. 
Spider-Man actress Zendaya looked super stylish in a striking ensemble on the red carpet. The Euphoria star, 25, ditched the traditional gown choice in favor of a fashion's cropped white shirt and silver skirt. Oscar winner Olivia Colman also opted for a silver number for the swanky bash, walking the red carpet in a floor-length, long-sleeved high-neck gown. Singing sensation Billie Eilish, who is nominated for an award tonight, turned heads on the red carpet, in a stunning, black dress. Jamie Dornan opted for a traditional black tuxedo suit, as he arrived for the annual event with his wife Amelia Warner, who looked breathtaking in a full-length gold gown. Kirsten Stewart and Timothy Chalamet shun traditional tux and gowns ensembles for the 94th Academy Awards on Sunday. The 31-year-old actress, who is nominated for Best Actress this evening, arrived at the Dolby Theatre in a pair of super chic shorts, a unbuttoned white shirt and a tailored black blazer. Timothy, 26, ditched the shirt for his choice of outfit on Sunday night, flashing his chest in an open sparkly black jacket. Tennis champion Venus Williams looked a vision in a plunging white gown, while sister Serena Williams opted for a black and purple ensemble. The siblings were in attendance to see how the film inspired by their journey fares at the awards, King Richard. Elsewhere on the red carpet, Mila Kunis and husband posed for pictures together, and actor Elliot Page looked suave in a traditional black tuxedo suit. Joe Jonas and pregnant wife Sophia Turner also made a cameo for the biggest night in Hollywood's calendar. The Game of Thrones actress looked radiant, as she showed off her growing bump in a stunning high neck, full-length red ball gown. Singer Joe opted for a striking take on the traditional black suit, with a low neck black t-shirt rather than a shirt and tie. Rita Ora, who is dating director Taika Waititi, was also present at the star-studded bash, looking striking in her outfit choice. The star-studded event is available to watch on sub-channel Sky Cinema Oscars for UK fans. The coverage can be streamed online through now with a now Sky Cinema Pass. US fans can watch the event on ABC. Amy Schumer will be co-hosting the upcoming event alongside icons Wanda Sykes and Regina Hall. It is the first time in three years that the Oscars has a host. Amy appeared on The Drew Barrymore Show to discuss providing entertainment for the night all while raising awareness on the important issues happening around the world. I think there is definitely pressure in one way to be like, this is a vacation, let people forget we just want to have this night, but it is like while we have so many eyes and ears on this show, she told the host. I think it's a great opportunity to at least comment on a couple of things. I have some jokes that kind of highlight the sort of current condition. I mean, there are so many awful things happening that it seems hard to focus on which one, 